So, I'm back at the field. I got the uh, P40s collecting dust. Said we can't have that. And I know I had uh, Bruce out here fly that for me. And he says, brutally nose heavy. Well, quite nose heavy. And the lines were too far back on the lead out. So, put them back in the center. And I ditched the heavy Dubro spinner for Great Plains spinner. Uh, lap time, my it's got a KR uh, governor timer on it, and uh, it crapped out. Let's see, you wiggle the, the wire on the to the uh, ESC and it would kick in and out, in and out, so I found that problem. That's the second one that went south on me. So, next thing is to put a new one on, my last control line one. And I uh, decided to do the lap time thing again. So I set it at 960 RPM, and I started out with this Falcon 11.6 propeller. Yeah, it's the same propeller I used on the SV-11. I used a 12.6 and it was brutal, terrible lap time. So these are not a very efficient propeller. Nice and light and everything, but they don't work that well. So my next step was to put the 11.6 Master Air Screw on, which everybody kind of looks down their nose at. So with this prop, 60 foot lines, 960 RPM, or 9,060 RPM, 9,600 RPM, <laughs> duh. Uh, I was getting roughly 7.8 lap time with this prop. That doesn't really add up. So I put the master air screw back on. It's slightly heavier, but it's, it's got a like an under camera blades on it. I went from uh, 5.8 to 4.75 with this one on there. And they're the same pitch, same RPM. I didn't, the only thing that changed was the prop. So this thing is leaps and bounds ahead of this guy. So I assumed if I put this APC 11 5.5 on there that I might you know, 0.5 in the pitch, it might uh, bring her down to uh, you know where I want it for lap time. 11.7. Um, or 5.7, sorry. So 5.7, get my lap times and my uh, damn black flies are out. I'm getting my lap times and my propeller sizes screwed up here. So, I was getting 11.7 with the APC 11.5.5. The 11.6 Falcon, I was getting uh, 5.8. And with this uh, Master Air Screw prop, I was getting 4.75 in that area. So, I'm going to put this one back on, and I'm going to lower the RPM. I get around 9,400 and if she's still fast I'm going to go up a foot I'll go up to 61 foot lines so getting back to work on the P40 I was working on the uh, SV11 but I figure maybe this one really flies nice so I figure I'll uh, get it back into business and potentially sacrifice it for my uh, getting back into the uh, full pattern which I haven't done since the year I learned the full pattern yep so we're propping her up take her from here it is time for a full flight
Well, after some horrible aerobatics, kind of <laughs> makes me appreciate that SV-11, I'll tell you. Uh, yeah, she needs a little, she needs a lot of trim work, that's for damn sure. So I think she's still, she's a bit nose heavy. Uh, 63 foot lines, what she likes. Uh, master air screw. 11.6 propeller with the E-Flight 32 and I think the 770 KV yep uh, 2700 milliamp batteries plenty um, lasted pretty good I'm doing uh, 5.3 second laps and I got the RPM down to about 900 and for 9,100 9, ish. So I could probably take a little more off it. Um, kind of stunned at that master air screw though. I mean, how well it works. Um, I mean, it, it uh, picked up the lap time, something amazing. But it is a pretty. Uh, Pretty nice prop actually the way it's the way it's made so I uh, tried some maneuvers didn't do so hot um, like I said she's gonna need a little trimming I think she's dipping the wing a bit on the outboard so I'm on I'm pretty much back to scratch with setting this up and I could use some help because I'm very limited with experience on trimming and uh, yeah so back to the p40 she's a uh, nice flying airplane <laughs> yeah although the sv11 is a beautiful flying airplane um i i thought i was going to end up changing the motor and and uh speed controller it's a 60 amp e-flight speed controller and the uh KR is working great. So. Uh, motor and prop and all that stuff is debugged, so now it's fine tuning. That's it. No garpies bag required tonight. Always a good thing.